Hi, it's Mr. Officer, and we're going to talk about probability today, and this, is, this particular problem is going to be about relative frequency and expected value. Okay, so Pat travels in her car for work and drives many, many kilometers. She keeps records of how often she fills her car with petrol. In total, she fills her car 190 times while she's doing the recording of this data, and the table shows the frequencies and the relative frequency of the number of days between refills. And so, a part says determine the values of A, B, and C. Well, here's A, B, and C. I need this value here of A, and this is the frequency of all these events. I'm told that she does 190. So if I go 190, subtract all these values, I'll end up with A, because I have to add up to that. But one of the things I'm going to show you with this video, I'm going to use your calculator for many of these, so I'll show you some of the features that your calculator has. So I've taken the liberty to add L1 and L2 in, but I put zero in for L2, just to kind of hold its spot for the, the first cell. And if I quit this, okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this list thing, a second list, which is above the statistics. It says list, and then I'm going to go over here and see the different options available. When I go to the math option, I can see number five says sum. I want the sum of L2. And the sum of L2 is 153. So all these values here, 81, 48, 17, is 153. So if I subtract these, I can see that A, A is equal to 37. This is 37. So now if I go to my list, into L2, if I make this 37, that will now, all the values are there. To do my relative frequency to find B and C, if I go over here to L3, I can just, so I can go L2 divided by 190. Uh, if I go L2 divided by 190, and it will fill them all in accordingly. And so now I can see that B is 19474, and C is 08947. Okay, and so uh, I know B equals 0 0.195 and C is 0 0.0895. Okay, so now estimate the probability that there is at least four a four day gap between refills. So this is C part probably of at least four days. Well, that means I want this day, this day, and this day. And so I'm looking to add up all these probabilities here. And so if I just, this one I'm just going to do by hand here, 0 0.0895 plus 0 0.032 plus 0 0.005 and so it is going to be 0 0.127 is the probability of having to uh, refill at least uh, four days between refills at least four days okay super continue along here hi Okay, so now, this was B part. C says, the following year she fills her car up 110 times. Determine the expected number of fill-ups that had a three-day refill. Well, the probability of three-day refill is 0 0.253. So probably, and I know I'm going to do 110 times, so I'm just going to multiply those two together. And if I do 110 times 0.253, this is the expected number. I'm going to expect to fill up 27.8 times from this for this particular year. have three day fill ups. And finally, D says, what is the expected number of days Pat will travel before she needs to refill her petrol tank? So now, going back to this original scenario, the expected number, well, I know that each of these refill days has a, a probability associated with it. So if I want a, the expected numbers, I'm going to go 1 times b plus 2 times this. And so if I write this out, 
d part, the expected value, we'll call this x, will be 1 times this b value, which is 0 0.195, plus 2 times 0 0.436, plus 3 times 0 0.253, plus, and so on, and then 6 times 0 0.005. You can type that all in, but there's an easy way to do this with my calculator. If I go to consider what I have here, if I go to my lists, this is my relative frequency or my probabilities. This is the expectation. For one, it's going to happen this much time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, I'm going to go to stat, I'm going to calculate one variable statistics. L1, I want my frequency to be this probability, this relative frequency, which is L3. And then I'm going to calculate. And when I calculate it, the mean of 2.352 is the same as the expected value. So I'm going to expect to be, each fill-up is going to be 2.35 days between fill-ups. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show you how to do your calculus, I'm going to show you how to do a cumulative, cumulative frequency graph with your calculator. Okay, just to see some of the skills that are involved with this. I'm going to clear this, clear history. So when I go to my stat and I go to my lists, I'm going to go to L4. And one of the things I can do, if I want to keep the formulas, I'm going to go to L4 and I'm going to accumulate these values here. So if I go to second list, and if I go to ops, I'm going to cumulative sum. I'm going to cumulative sum L3. And then it will add up all these. And so this is the probability of just one. This is the probability of one or two, the probability of one, two, or three, and so on. And if I want to this is the cumulative frequency here. If I want to see what the graph looks like, well, if I go to my stat plot, I'm going to turn, go to stat plot 1, I'm going to turn on, I'm going to go to this setting, L1 and L4, and if I zoom this to 9 statistics, this is my cumulative frequency plot here, the ones that we see sometimes on tests. But our calculator will do it as well, just an extra little calculator tool.